Hey everybody, so I have been working on some projects such as this one, um, which is in the works, and I am using bits of poured canvases. Um, if you want to see a finished one, there's one on my Facebook and my Instagram. Um, it's huge. It's like 34 by 34 or something. So it's pretty big. Um, so the canvas I'm painting today, I need some bright colors for these. So the one I'm doing today is going to be meant to be um, uh, cut apart. <laughs> this dried awesome. I'm so happy. I wasn't sure that it would dry flat, but it did. And I love all of it. That is so cool. I'm really excited about this one. I love the pink. There it is. It's like looks like continents. All right. So there we go. Look at these colors, and I don't know if they're quite. I think I actually may change them around a bit. that. I think I'll keep the phthalo blue. I am going to add a little neon pink even though there's not much in there. So I've got, these are all, all of them are Arteza except for this, which is a hodgepodge of neons. I've got Arteza Rose, which is such a gorgeous, gorgeous pink or rose color if you Wood. I've got Arteza Mid Yellow, Arteza Thalo Blue, and then the Arteza Neon Pink. All right. And I'm going to do hair dryer. Actually, I'm not going to do that. This is house paint. I had to smell it to figure out which kind of paint this was. Hopefully it's enough. It's kind of weird making a canvas knowing that you're going to be cutting it up. Knowing that you don't need the sides perfect and it's kind of an odd feeling. Kind of a fun feeling though. Like there's a corner that's bare right now and I'm just going to leave it because it's fine. Plus once I add in all the other colors. So that has neon red, neon orange, neon something else. And these are all mixed my usual way with Floetrol and water. I don't have any pouring medium going on in this video. Enough with that experimenting. <laughs> I'm going to continue with the Arteza pouring acrylics though. Because those I'm having, these ones I'm having a great time with. But the uh, Artist Loft one, no thank you. No, thank you at all. I'm actually going, I decided I'm going to use, this is a metallic blue. Get some pretty shimmers in there.
got the brightness that I wanted. So that was really, I wanted some bright canvases to glue down. And this one I have it. So I'm just going to let this one dry um, and I'll get some good, some good chunks out of it. So yeah, as I said, it's very odd making a canvas knowing that, knowing that I'm going to chop it up. Pretty fun though, huh? You should try it. It's an odd feeling. So there's some cool parts that I'll focus on. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please click subscribe and ding the bell to get notifications. And I really do appreciate all of you watching. And have a wonderful day. Bye. I see a puffer fish, by the way, in the eye, in the nose, and it's smiling. Or no, it's a hedgehog. Not a hedgehog, a, um, not like Sonic. It's, it's a porcupine. It's something. It is something. Bye.